welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for all the Gemini Sun Moon arising this is the month of January 2018 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful positive time for um, all the um, Gemini's this is good I want to say thank you for the support the likes and shares and um, please um, for the newcomers thank you for being here thank you for being back whatever the situation is thank you for really supporting my channels and I hope you will stay okay for you um, Gemini's please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign please like and share these videos your energy is going to be the, at the same energy of the energy of January the general energies of January you have the energy of a fire sign which is supporting you and in a strength so this is good because this is a wonderful energies because what is happening to you is that with this inner strength and guidance and understanding you're understanding where you are and what you're supposed to do so this is this is positive because what is happening for you um, a Gemini's is that in this month of January you are finding inner strength to move on okay for you Gemini's um, what is happening is that the first and last week of this month is going to be extremely good um, you have whenever you Gemini's receive an energy of your own energy vibration that means you're um, you're using this energies and changing the form of this energy so if it was a bad energy you're working with the energy the ten of swords is, is just um, um, so for so much things going through your head as in January there is going to be so much things going through um, you Gemini's head it's just going to be unbelievable the things that is really going through your head at this moment in January and that is good because most of you are back to work and that sort of thing so the first week is going to be the ten of swords energy which is a lot of thoughts this is thoughts this is thoughts this is uh, you are using and you're finding the inner strength to kind of control the thoughts that are going through your head in the first week second week you have the energy of the ten of cups so number ten is going to be good for you one and ten is going to be positive for you um, um, guys in this month this is wonderful you have both the ten of swords and the ten of cups beside each other and this is in the second week it's a water week this is going to be good for you guys because what is going to happen is that the energy vibration from you guys is going to be positive because the feelings of what is coming out with the energy of the ten of cups it's going just going to be wonderful because the general energy is also water week so you are going to be feeling this wonderful love that is coming in with the energy of the ten of cups in the second third week you have the energy vibration of the Queen of Cups okay you have the energy vibration of the Queen of Cups so the Queen of Cups is someone over the age of um, 40 a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and then you move on to the last week um, which you have uh, the energy of the six of swords and you are using um, your thoughts and mind to move things along and to manifest things for yourself so let's look at the connections in this week so in the first week and the second week between the ten of cups you have the energy of the five of swords a five of swords so whatever that has transpired whatever situation that has transpired um, there is going to be a, a win and a loss and that's why the energy of uh, um, strength is here for you Gemini's because whatever is happening there is going to be a win and a loss to whatever is happening so um, be aware of what is happening because this woman as you know this woman as win the battle whoever you are and whoever you were fighting with uh, there is a winning of the battle but you know is this battle really win do you think that you really win this battle so be aware so some people are going to have a win a bitter and a sweet connection um, between the first week and the second week okay and let's look at the second week on the third week to see what is happening happiness and love if you're in a relationship with someone who's a Pisces cancer or scorpion you could be happily in love let's see what is combining um, these two again you have the energy of these um, 
thoughts coming up in your head whatever the situation is is so as if there is someone this queen of swords and um, it's a bittersweet relationship that you're having with this person it could be a man or a woman because um, it's not being specified whether it's a man or a woman so I'm seeing the energy that some people are having a bittersweet relationship with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion so there is a lot of stuff that is going through your head a lot of thoughts that is going through your head and you're having this bittersweet sort of a relationship that is going on it's a week of bitter street that's why the energy of strength comes up the energy in between the third week and connecting to the last week because we have only four energies in this week you have the energy of the six of cups so now we are seeing the picture of whatever is going on what is going on is that this is a, um, a past a karmatic relationship this is a week of working out karmatic relationships and the ten of swords and the ten of cups beside each other is that is just a bit too sweet okay because it's like um, I'm hating you this moment but I'm loving you the other moment okay and it's it's very emotional it's deep emotional and this situation is a situation that is happening between um, you um, Gemini's and a hair sign person I'm getting a cancer for some people some people is going to have um, Pisces and some people it's going to have uh, uh, cancer Pisces or scorpion but whatever the situation is it is an family or a um, a soul connection of uh, something that has um, transpired and what is happening here is that it is a bittersweet thing it's uh, as if I have no idea I love you so much but I can't believe that you did me this and uh, you know it's that sort of a thing and you're you need to find the inner strength to forgive this person and move on and just turn your back on them or you need to deal with it to release this energy from you okay so there is a situation with all these thoughts that is going on in the first week and the second week and we're going to look at that to see what is going to come out of this and you have the night of ones the night of ones so there's a message that is coming from somebody between the ages of 25 and 45 and is an Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius so there's a message that is coming from someone between the ages of uh, 25 and 45 and there is a, a situation that is happening that a message is going to be coming from this person this message can be a message about um, a relationship that you are in and this message is going to bring you some situation that really I wasn't expecting this you know because at the top of it it is a, a happy the ten the you know happiness in family but there's so many things because there were quarrels there were conflicts that was going on and as we look at this Queen of Cups, because there's a situation, it was a, it is a bittersweet situation. It's a situation that is a family situation or a karmatic situation, and you came in this lifetime to really deal with it. And this person, this woman, I still do the same thing, but you're going to win this, and you're going to win this big. Thank you. Wow. I'm happy for you Gemini's you're gonna win this and you're going to win this okay so <laughs> so what is happening here is that there is a, a situation that you Gemini's have and this situation can be with someone who you're married to and this lady came back in your life for a reason because it's a is a karma situation because the energy of the six of cups is here and you know whatever has transpired and that sort of a thing you're seeing what exactly took place and let's see what is the energy for the Gemini's in this month the seven of Pentacles so your outcomes of this month you Gemini's is going to be the seven of Pentacles this is good because you're building and you're working on whatever the situation is this is a karmatic situation and you're building and you're working on this situation okay so here 
let's look and let's take a real deep in depth look at your reading it's a beautiful spread um okay I love these cards um the center of what is going to go on okay um, the center um, that is going to affect a lot of people is a lot of thoughts going through your head the nine of swords a lot of thoughts a lot of things going in your head they're coming at you all these thoughts and things so you Gemini that's why you have the energy of strength you have the same energy as the general energies you have the energies of strength you have to kind of figure this out and you have to kind of understand what is going on because in the general energies of the week the two first week is water your first week is um, the ten of swords is so much coming at you and the second week is a very pleasant week which is the ten of cups but with the ten of cups there is, there is going to be as bittersweet uh, happiness in a um, a connection with a family connection whatever it is it's going to be a very bittersweet because what has transpired here as I am going the, to do this what has transpired here is that you have a bittersweet win some of you have a bittersweet win with other people other signs whatever that has been transpiring you some of you have a bittersweet win and here you can see that for the people who are connected to these water sign people the Pisces the cancer and the scorpion they want to move away from you or you want to move away from them because this was a karmatic situation and this karmatic situation you both came in to heal whatever has transpired in past lives but is it still ill it's ill for you but is it still ill for the person so whoever you are with that is a cancer a scorpion of a, 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 a um, of a Pisces especially for the the people who are in your relationship with um, the people um, above 40 because this is for people above 40 um, you are going to realize that they are planning or moving away from you or you are planning on moving away from them whatever the situation is and whatever is happening whatever this move is all about is that this karmatic situation has ended and they're moving forward what some people are having with some of these water sign people who they're having relationships with it could be a sister could be a family could be a sibling is that um, what is happening here is that with the energy here with the energy that is happening with um, this person is a bittersweet situation that um, you know there's so many thoughts you're trying to figure out how am I supposed to do this how, what should I do how can I deal with the situation how can I move forward from this situation okay and it can that the person is not really a, um, a full water sign but has water sign in their charts okay because I'm seeing all of this coming up because remember that as from this here you're going to really realize that you're no longer the sign you were born under but you're going backwards okay so you're going back to the other sign because I'm seeing this transforming in my life too so and whatever the conflict was uh, there was a conflict there was a situation it has to do with uh, um, someone between the ages of 25 and 45 and this person is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and whatever the situation is you're working on this situation okay you you you're really working on the situation because um, it's a situation where that needs work okay and you're working on this situation as we look and we're looking at the situation that is happening because there's two six together so these two six remember you have one six and ten there are two sixes here together and this these two sixes is the six of swords the six you know but you're this is thoughts and you're thinking of moving on to better shore and with the energy of the six of cups is moving on to better shore from this situation and you're going to win you're going to believe in the situation and you're going to be using the ace of swords and coming out of this situation very good also for the people who are in relationship for with the 
um, the water sign people and you decide to leave the situation behind or they decide to leave you are going to be trans um, you're going to be happy because at least at the end of the day it is that you worked on this so um, you have the energy as um, as a as strength and you you have the nine of swords which is the thoughts so in in your head most of you are going to have a situation where a lot of thoughts is going on but the outcomes of this month for you guys is the seven of Pentacles which this is uh, you have done something you have done some work on yourself you have uh, accept certain things and you are triumphant over certain things and this is going to be good so I hope that some people um, receive a message from that we're moving on to the zodiac sign and we are going to see what is the energy here for the Sun people we are going to really see what is the energy here for the Sun people we have the energy of Scorpio which is good the scorpions I just spoke about the water sign people and we have the Sagittarians for the Sun people for the moon people let's see what we have for the Gemini's um, we have Pluto Pluto has been working with um, the air sign people and we have the Aquarians and something has been happening because um, you know the Aquarians have been working with the Gemini's because I saw that from the end of last year so again for the Sun people people who were born um, between the hours of uh, 12 um, p.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, and 6 p.m. 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. <laughs> and that is 12 a.m. in middle night and 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the afternoon what is happening is that you are going to be working with a scorpion so that um, woman was a scorpion um, or that person uh, whether it was a man or a woman that this reading is set over was a scorpion and then you're going to have the Sagittarians and the Sagittarians could be this night of ones who is coming in to help out of a situation okay so this is good this is good this is wonderful and this is positive so let's go forward and um, look at the energies that we have for the moon people for the moon people we have Pluto we have Pluto for the moon people and we have the Aquarians coming in and I love Pluto especially when it is vibrating with the moon energies because this is positive because whenever Pluto um, comes in with this moon energies I love um, seeing the energies of the moon working with these planets because um, they bring they bring um, wonderful energies and I'm going to look at Pluto working with you Gemini's to see what is coming in because this is um, extremely wonderful Pluto working with the Gemini's Pluto is uh, working with the Gemini's is swift uh, vital transformation are happening now just very very fast uh, and vital information are um, are happening now and this is going to be extremely good so whatever is happening uh, is swift and it's you know things are going to be start happening for you and this is going to be good so this is going to be wonderful so um it's going to be a good um a sense of you know things that are happening for a lot of people and this is going to be positive in you know don't even matter what is happening it's just going to happen swift because you can realize that that the relationship is as is, is, is ending and it is uh, um, good so let's see I'm working with the wisdom of the Oracle this is the first month so I love the wisdom of the Oracle for the Gemini's um, a fork in the road there's a fork in the road whatever is the situation there is a fork in the road okay so let's see what is that fork in the road because here you can is a read and where yes you can see that there is a fork in the road okay um, it is it is really really um, the energy of a fork in the road so you know this is good let's see because um, Whenever a fork in the road uh, comes up, it is always a thing. So it says, a time to make a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to hack, owning up to your obligation uh, to make the unnecessary choice. Every choice is confidence. You have arrived at the fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further with your dreams by going the old way? I know it by heart. <laughs> 
um, choosing left or right or by choosing um, the the old thing will you take the road less traveled or the one worn out by others who have come before you this is your choice and yours alone to make circumstances and other people will not make it for you be present and do not avoid this junction for it is an important crossroad take heart as no matter which part you choose you will have a rich and meaningful experience so this is this is actually very good so ladies and gentlemen um, I'm gonna do my last thing I don't want to go over 20 minutes so I'm saying namaste until next time mm -hmm.